Hello everyone, I'm Schnordo, and let's continue this journey through Project Zomboid. Last episode, shot a whole bunch of zombies, and this episode I think I'm just gonna continue laying waste to the zombie horde. I'll uh, catch my breath real quick, it seems I, uh, a little out of breath. While I do that, I'm going to work on my inventory management a little bit. It's a little messy in here. So let's throw all the gun stuff in there. I, uh, I'm going to go ahead and put the rifle away. I'm going to take the shotgun shells. Because I think I'm going to use the uh, my coach gun for a little bit. Sounds like fun. Put all this ammo away. And I might grab a couple more boxes of shotgun shells just to... Uh, just to have a couple backup rounds. Let's grab like four boxes. That sounds good. Um, also, I mean, there's just a whole bunch of junk I can, I can drop off that I don't need. Like, I don't need twine, any of this. Actually, all of this I don't really need to be carrying with me. Let's throw that away. full. Move off to the next one. Let's take all of these. Man, there's going to be plenty of room to loot. I'm set on weapons for a long time. Okay. It's all coming together. Getting a little decent stockpile. Got a couple of stragglers down there. Let's go ahead and take care of them. Let's try out the new coach gun. Let's see what it looks like. Looks like a little sawed off shotgun. Let's see how many zombies this draws in from around. some people on the inside that want to come say hello. Right on. This thing's kind of nice. Okay, well, I'm not going to run down the street. I think I'm going to drive a little bit and see... Uh, See what Riverside has in store for me. This way I can also catch my breath. Nice little strip mall here. Let's see if I can 
squeeze through right here. Perfect. Oh, oh, wow. Got a decent group of zombies. Let's go ahead and take care of these guys, too. Oh, this gun's kind of nice. Wow. I like this little coach gun. Let's uh, try to ball up these zombies. I don't want to waste a shell on one zombie. Oh. He's got a crossbow on his back. <laughs> yeah. Who knew shooting a, a miniature shotgun would be so fun? This way I also get to clear out all the zombies in the area. See if I can start drawing them closer to me. Looks like this is going to be all the zombies that are in the area. Bunch them up, just like that. Lay waste, my friends. Awesome. Let's go down a little bit further, see if there's any more for us to shoot. Spoke too soon. They're already on their way down. I'm gonna go ahead and, since there's only a couple of them, just gonna bash their skull in with a crowbar real quick. Nothing to see here. Move along. Oh, getting tired. Need to take some vitamins. do that right now because wasting energy swinging this while I'm tired oh let's get my gun back out bunch them up Perfect. Bunch these guys up again. There we go. Oh, geez. I'm not paying close enough attention. I wonder if I can add a muzzle brake to this little coach gun. Okay, let's uh, go down a little bit further. Looks like we're clearing out Riverside. One zombie at a time. Or, more accurately, one shotgun shell at a time. Let's take some more vitamins. Oh, now let's go ahead and back up a little. I don't want to be in their faces. Okay. 
need to bunch these guys up. Okay. Perfect. And let it rain. There we go. Haha, <laughs> it's satisfying. I like this little gun. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very happy that I found this coach gun. It's going to be the perfect uh, get out of jail, oh shit, free card, you know? If I get cornered, this is going to be probably the best way for me to clear a running path. Especially if I have higher aiming skill. That way I can kill everyone I shoot in one shot. Just continuing on bunching them up so my shotgun shells deal the most damage per shot. You notice I'm not running. I'm trying to save as much energy as I can just by walking around. Oh, nice. This is going to be a decent little group for me to kill. Okay. Join the party, friend. We've got these new party poppers. Tell me how they work. Yeah? Any good? All right, I'll try that again. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Okay, looks like now they're coming out of the woodwork. Need to be a little careful. And by careful, I mean I need to be running around yelling to draw them all into a nice clump, a nice cluster of zombies for me to shoot. Wow, a lot more than I thought. This is awesome. Uh, let's go ahead and take some more vitamins and I'll go ahead and take some beta blockers as well just in case this is a decent size group I don't want to get panicked okay I guess. Oh, silly me. I need to open more boxes of ammo. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. There we go. Ho ho. Yes. Just got to keep the zombies arm's length away and everything's fine. My energy looks fine. I can do this until I run out of ammo, it looks like. Got to keep them bunched up. Do a little sprint every here and there just to stay in front of them. This is uh, a lot more zombies than I thought there were going to be here. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. Oh, they just keep streaming in. Am I in? Am I in trouble right now? I might be in trouble right now. It's uh, pretty late. I'm 
gonna have to take some more vitamins, it seems. I might I might be in a lot of trouble. So I don't know if I can clear out all of these zombies. Oh, that was the last vitamin I can take for a while. What are my skills looking at right now? Okay, getting close to level five aiming. Seems the worst of, uh, oh, they just keep streaming in. I was, I was about to say that we're almost in the clear, but every time I turn around, there's more zombies streaming into the group. All the more reason to believe that I might be in a little bit of trouble right now, but if I just keep my cool. Stay calm. I think everything will be fine. I don't want to rush anything. I've lived too long to die stupidly by freaking out. Yeah, only a handful left. We got this. Need to open up another box. Uh, there it is. Let's go ahead and get some distance and hope I can open the box in time. Yeah, no problem. Easy peasy. Okay. What was I so worried about? There's nothing to worry about. Okay. Okay, guys. Come on. I need to I need to loot these bodies. Right on. Go ahead and take care of some of these stragglers. Ah, let's pull out my crowbar. Perfect. <laughs> Talk about killing a giant group of zombies with hardly breaking a sweat. Brit, 1836. Just shy of two months survived. I have a good feeling about Owen. We're going to last forever. We're going to get strong. I mean, we already are a little strong with all these skills that we're building. I definitely need to start working on some other uh, melee combat skills. But I'm liking the way... Owen is turning out. Like, I haven't even done exercises in a long time, and we still have fitness and strength building pretty quickly. Just offhand, not even really focusing on it. Okay. It looks like all the stragglers are taken care of. Let's see. I know there was an axe in one of the bodies. I don't remember where. I'm going to have to... Uh, Looks like I'm going to have to spend a lot of time looking through all these bodies. 
See, I'm only going to do it for a little bit. It's getting a little late. Not too bad, though. I'm just going to take my time and rip up all the leather. Because the more leather I have, the better. Oh. I can also start dismantling... Uh, all these radios and watches and everything. I really need to get electrical. Up. Especially if I want to start hot wiring vehicles. Ooh, a box of 9mm rounds. Don't mind if I do, friend. Get some tobacco seeds. Okay, rip the clothing. All right, I think I want to go ahead and catch some shut eye before it gets too late, and I can finish looting the bodies in the morning. I, I'm just going to go to bed right here. Lie down and sleep, my friend. We shall continue looting in the morning. Do not worry, do not fret. The bodies aren't going anywhere unless they get up and move somewhere. Because that's a thing. All right. No, looks like we've got someone to take care of right here. Right on. Right on. Dismantle the camera. So I'll take all these magazines. They're going to come in super helpful once I start shooting uh, handguns. Right. You would think I'd be a lot closer to uh, leveling up my tailoring with all of this leather I'm getting. Hmm. Strange. But let's go ahead and we can take all of this, throw it in my bag. Um, I'll take another survival knife. Can always throw them. Oh, you know what? So I saw a comment on one of my previous videos that's saying that I can, uh, I should be wearing one of these fanny packs and I can put all my medical supplies in there. That way, I always have medical supplies on me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Right on. Let's see, you got some more rounds. Oh, getting a load of like decent loot, just random decent loot. Nothing too spectacular, but stuff that I'll always use. I'll just go ahead and take that pipe. Why not? There's just so much here. 
doing a quick cursory glance over everything. I'll go ahead and take that bag of tobacco as well. Hmm. Okay, got a visitor. Okay, well, we cleared out a decent portion of, I would say, like, downtown Riverside. I think this is where I'm going to wrap up today's episode, just because I don't want to start anything else and uh, have this be an incredibly long episode. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, wrap it up here. If you guys enjoyed this episode, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.